the B2, I'm going to do a quick little review on the Osiris Bronx 83 New York City High Tops shoes. They are sick. They're nice. Yeah, they're dirty. I've been using them for about a week, I think. And, um, yeah. So first off, you got the tongue over here and off. Oh, it's really cushioned. A lot. I mean, a lot. It's not even funny on how much cushioning they have on this, but it's so comfortable from it. And they give, they keep your feet warm, unlike Vans or Zoomies or some other type of shoe or skateboarding. These keep your feet warm. They're pretty sick, as you can see. They're nice. Um, these are a size nine men's, and um. You probably want to order or buy half a size bigger than you are on these because they can be a little bit smaller. I'm probably not going to last these that long, but still they're nice. Inside you got like a little Osiris logo, and there you probably can't see, but it's like a Osiris logo, and it's all kind of spacey. It's pretty cool. Um, the sort of plasticky, like up here it's plastic, plastic, I think that's plastic, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what this would be, but this, 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 is all plastic, same on the other side, um, I don't know exactly what this is. I think it's a uh, cheap leather. Probably. I think it's probably a cheap leather. And, um, so you got the Osiris name off here. And here. Got the little logo thing there. That's about it. They came with, um, white laces. I'll show those to you. So they came with white laces. I, um, prefer the orange ones over them. They both looked good, but I think the orange ones look better. And, um, so the orange ones came in this little bag thing, if you can see. Right there, it came in those. The orange laces did, and I think I like those better. And... Here are the white laces, right there. I prefer the orange laces over these. I, it's just me, but I think they look cooler. And um, I don't have a box anymore, but it's like a 90s boom box or something. It's like pretty cool. It, it had a lot of details on it, even on the back. Had a whole bunch of details. It had the like the battery cover, the control cover, the plug-in areas. It was pretty detailed. And so I wish I would have kept it, but I did it. And then um, I think over here, yeah, it came with this. It's like a little keychain. They were this was on one of the shoes. It's not that cool. It's, I mean, keep it, but I suggest not leaving these on shoes. They look stupid. Um, but that's about it. Where I got these was at Journeys for, um, what was it? Probably, I think it was 90 bucks. It was Journeys in Cottonwood Mall for 90 bucks. And these were the last size 9 they had in this type of shoe. Now, I know I made a video on bar lacing. Um, I don't prefer that on these. It doesn't feel comfortable. I mean, I, these still look pretty cool. 
but they're also way more comfortable, so I'll stick with that. And, um, I think that is about it on this. Um, yeah, I think so. And, um, I'm gonna make a couple videos on my go kart. I have probably three videos coming on that. I'm gonna have one on the actual go kart itself. One, oh, oh, excuse me. One of me, um, fixing the chain. It, um, I think it's too loose because today when I was driving it, it snapped. So I'm gonna make a video on that, and then I'll make a onboard ride with it. But that'll be a while from now. So that's about it. So check out my bar leasing video on how to bar lace shoes. And just rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks.